Joe Lenardi joining us on a weekly basis. He regularly tracks all 68 teams expected to be in the NCAA tournament on ESPN.com. So let's get to it. Joey Brackett's top rank, Ohio State, of to Wisconsin on Saturday. Are they still a favorite for number one overall seed? Absolutely, Hannah. When I look at the Buckeyes, I still see the best team in the country and the best profile in the country for NCAA selection purposes. Now, the polls later today may drop Ohio State because that's the history of polling. I don't get it. I don't think when you lose matters is who you lose to. So for Ohio State to go on the road and lose at Wisconsin by four, where I think the Lakers and the Celtics might also lose, doesn't strike me as a reason to drop Ohio State off the top line. They have the magnificent freshman, of course, in Jared Sullinger, and they've got veterans around him. This team has been the best through two and a half months. And I think they'll still be a number one seed and probably number one overall on Selection Sunday. You see some of these other teams like Pitt and Texas and Kansas. These are the four best teams in the country, Hannah. Duke is knocking on the door of a number one seed. But the relative weakness of the ACC may keep the Blue Devils from getting there. Talking about one week conference, how about an incredibly strong conference in the Big East? And you're currently projecting no less than 11 Big East teams in the tournament. Ultimately, when all is said and done, how many teams actually do you think will make it in? They're certainly going to break their own record of eight, which has occurred in two of the last three years. Now, eight is half of 16. That's not as good as, let's say, uh, 7 of 11 in the Big Ten or 6 of 10 from the Pac-10 in the past. But we have a perfect storm this year, maybe even a perfect storm, Hannah. But in this case, you've got bubble team St. John's, Marquette, Cincinnati, all competing to be a 9, 10, or an 11. And I believe at least 9 will happen and probably 10. So get ready for some howling on Selection Sunday night. <laughs> all right, Joe. Uh, nice. Uh, what should we be watching this week in terms of key games? Huge games across the map as we get into uh, what I call the dog days of February. Teams really jockeying for position. But, you know, Cincinnati, gaudy record, no great wins. They host Louisville on Tuesday night. That's a, a huge game for the Bearcats, particularly having lost Sunday at home to St. John's. Cincinnati, simply put, has to get a scalp or two on its resume to justify its good play throughout the year. Their best win, you have to go all the way back uh, to December when they spanked Xavier before the Musketeers got rolling a little bit. And then later in the week, I think, uh, we're going to look at an Atlantic 10 game with Richmond going to Temple. You know, the Spiders, I think, maybe have the best personnel in the Atlantic 10, but they haven't been able to put it together entirely uh, short of a neutral court win back way back in November against Purdue. They need a scalp as well at a Temple or against a Xavier before all is said and done. 